All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. What we have for you today is something similar. If you guys remember, we actually had this car before. It is a 2019 ZR1, currently 395 miles on the odometer with the luggage package. Only one besides one other car out of probably 40 ZR1s now that we've had, give or take, with the luggage package. Um, guy that bought it was a collector. Bought this one, also the shadow gray car that we had. Was gonna drive the shadow gray car a little bit. Uh, reached out to him. Hard to find good manual transmission ZTK competition sports seat cars. Put a deal together to get both of them back. So right now we have 395 miles on the odometer of this Sebring Orange ZR1. Manual transmission, ZTK competition sports seats. Just like the last time we had it, maybe five miles on it just from transport here or there. Uh, can't wait to show you guys around, walk you through everything. If you guys haven't seen this one previously with us, you'll see it now and one that definitely checks all the boxes and by far the best ZR1 that is currently on the market. Returning to the Corvette fold for 2019, the ZR1 appropriately ushered out the front engine, rear drive, seventh generation models as the pinnacle of Corvette performance. Boasting an amazing 755 horsepower from its supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine, the ZR1 generated a litany of published road test results, including the 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just three seconds, en route to an electrifying 212 mile per hour top speed. Thanks to its race derived suspension and braking specifications, the ZR1 is capable of equally staggering stopping and handling. A choice of a 7-speed manual or 8-speed automatic was available for the ZR Run, along with driver-selectable multi-mode settings. Aerodynamic enhancements made the already slippery Corvette body even more effective, including a track-style high-mounted rear wing delivering up to 950 pounds of downforce, which was included with the ZTK package. Inside the ZR1 cabin was deceptively roomy and luxurious with plenty of leather upholstery and surprisingly useful cargo space. An awesome touchscreen infotainment system includes Apple CarPlay, Android Audio, onboard Wi-Fi, and a standard head-up display. Offered with just 395 miles, this 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 is an electrifying performer with its supercharged 6.2 liter 755 horsepower LT5 V8 engine and collector preferred seven speed manual transmission with rev matching. So that LT5 is the only year that uh, motor was produced was for these ZR1s. They did make some for some resto mods with some crate motors, but they are no longer being offered. So not only do you have the last manual Corvette that was produced, you also have the last front engine and the only year that that motor was um, produced. Finished in the desirable and launch color of Sebring Orange with black interior upholstery, this ZR1 is further endowed with the 3ZR equipment group and Sebring Orange design package, which some people get a little tripped up on. Just because a car is orange does not mean that it has the Sebring Orange design package. Some things that are included in that Sebring Orange design package are your orange calipers, your painted carbon fiber on the rockers and splitter on the edges, which is also orange. You have your orange seat belts, competition sports seats with orange stitching, and it's just a really, really nice package that pays attention to every little detail inside and out on the ZR1. The ZTK performance package includes Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, a high adjustable rear wing, which is able to produce 950 pounds of downforce, carbon fiber end caps to the front, and special chassis calibrations. Other highlights include ceramic brake rotors with orange painted calipers, powered and heated outside mirrors, a curb view camera, fighter jet style heads up display, carbon flash ZR1 wheels, a multi-mode performance exhaust system, and a removable Targa style roof panel, which is done in carbon fiber. 
One of just 2,953 Corvette ZR1s were produced for the only year in 2019. Of those, 744 were manual coupes. If you want the high wing ZTK, 586 of those were produced. And if you want the must have competition sports seats, you're down to just 448 total cars that were produced with all of those options. For 2019, this one year only model is a high watermark in Corvette performance and immensely collectible in every respect. So that is a wrap on our 2019 ZR1. So hard to find these cars, guys. I mean, we're looking all the time and there's a reason why we keep buying back some of the cars that we previously had. Number one, we know the history of them. This car bought off the original owner to us, then sold it to the collector, now back to us. So I know that it was well maintained, well cared for, and it's just very hard to find cars in this condition and option like this. I mean, we're looking all the time. You see a lot of cars that are low wings, a lot of cars that are low wings with co uh, no competition sports seats or just automatic cars. Uh, if you guys haven't already, again, please leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, be on the lookout for what we have coming your way. We have a ZR1 Heaven here today. Jeremy will show you guys here with the three cars that we all have to do videos on today.